Connection, where we connect the faces of local business with our community and we help you get your message out. Uh, as always, I appreciate you taking time out of your busy Friday to join us. Uh, today's, biz today's business host is the very service and community or oriented Mr. Stephen Quick of SQ Merchant Services. But before we get to Stephen, uh, I think we have a, a new guest with us named Tina Colson. I'm not sure, uh, <clears throat> but, uh, <clears throat> and uh, Stephen also brought uh, his uh, attendant and man at arms and, and jack of all trades with him, Mr. James Beers. So we're gonna give uh, our new guests a chance to introduce themselves later after our host. Um, if you haven't, uh, if you're not familiar with our Friday virtual networking session, uh, we'll give you an opportunity to introduce yourself and your business to everyone later today before we break into small groups for more direct conversation. And uh, without any further ado, I think what we'll do is turn everything over to Mr. Stephen Quick. Fantastic. So Liz, you said I had an hour, right? Just making sure. <laughs> I'm joking. Good morning, everybody. My name is Stephen Quick. I own SQ Merchant Services. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna share a quick new testimonial video of a, new, of a client that's been with me for a couple of years. Um, but this is gonna take about three minutes, but what I'd like is if you guys could be thinking about questions, you know, about the world of merchant services. So it's gonna be kind of uh, open-ended up the, on the back end, okay? So here's the video. One second. My name is Paul Vu. I started a company called EDA Frames here in Tigard, Oregon. I actually I specialize in bespoke or custom frames. Uh, individuals come to me to produce one of a kind frames. My clientele ranges anywhere from uh, the individual that walks up the stairs and into my shop to say a uh, rock star like Gene Simmons to our ex-mayor like Sam Adams, uh, which I uh, have the same services and treatment for the average person to the celebrity. Uh, I've been uh, self-employed for about 20 years. So I've gone through all the merchant services out there from the independent to the banks. And uh, to recall one story, uh, I had a merchant service representative come into my store and he basically pitched me the lowest rate possible. So being young and naive, I, I signed up. A chargeback occurred and when I needed him, I called up his phone number and there was never a reply. I would say probably maybe after a month after I signed up with Steve and I had a really big sale that came in and it exceeded that limit and so me expecting that the funds would come in in a day or two didn't happen. So I was panicking, like, okay, where, where, where's that big sell? And uh, I, I tried to call them up. I, I couldn't resolve it with the merchant service. I called up Steve, and not knowing Steve just had surgery, he still took my call. That was, that was phenomenal for basically Steve being in bed, in pain, taking my call, and then resolving it with the processor and getting my transaction uh, process in a timely manner was top notch for me. That, that sealed it for me. As an entrepreneur, uh, if you can take one duty off of your list, it's, it's, it makes it so much easier to run the rest of your business. And knowing Steve has my back has made my business thrive this year. So my name is Stephen Quick, SQ Merchant Services. Uh, I'm here in the Oregon area, but actually I can service anyone in the United States of America as well as Canada. So if you're looking for a merchant processing company or if you just want to be able to talk to somebody about what you have going on and with your current processing, I'd be more than happy to help you with that. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. Uh, 
quite simply, I help you accept credit card and ATM as form of payment, whatever that looks like. If you can just think of any way of accepting a credit card, I can handle. I've been in the industry since 2007. I belong to 10 different chambers of commerce. I'm on the advisory panel for the Better Business Bureau. I'm board president of the Westland Chamber. Uh, the reason why I bring all that up is quite simply to tell you, I'm not going anywhere. You're stuck with me for a while. <laughs> so, but I'm more than anything, like I tell everybody, I just like to get to know people. I love to network and I'd love to be able to have coffee with you at any, at any point. So uh, it is now open for whatever questions that you may or may not have. What's Stephanie? <laughs> Um, actually, I'm just going to share, guys. I've actually known Stephen through our children. We met um, when our kids were in elementary school, when the big ones were actually really tiny kids. So I've known Stephen quite a long time. And if I, you know, I could just give a little shout out for him. He's he's definitely a stand up guy with a lot of integrity. So just wanted to give that little plug. Thank you. Go ahead, Dan. So Steve, uh, we've talked, you know, we're a captive franchise system, but uh, yep. um, your video mentioned it, the word chargeback. Um, mm -hmm. That's the bane of our existence. It seems when we get one uh, to take months and months to get those resolved. Um, could you talk about that process from, from a merchant uh, services transaction perspective? Yeah, so uh, when there's a, a chargeback has occurred, you'll uh, in in one of my platforms you'll get a you'll get an email saying uh, Dan is disputing a transaction or there is a chargeback. Uh, at that point in time, you have about in in a, a real processing world, you have sixty days to resolve it. Uh, the Square Stripes, PayPal's. Can't, I can't guarantee that, especially PayPal. Uh, they, 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 they err to the consumer, not the business owner. Uh, they'll just take the funds out and it sucks to be you. So, uh, but in the, in the proper setting, Dan, once you have that transaction, we send in the documentation, we verify the fact that, that yep, you did, they, the, the customer did sign, here's a signature, here's approval code, everything else what happened, and that gives you 60 days to be able to resolve it. If it's all copacetic, it should take just a few days in, in mm -hmm. all, all reality. But, it, but sometimes it depends on the consumer, you know, how fast to get back to getting all the documentation. But huh. go ahead. Okay, so yeah, we just, we, as soon as we get notice of the dispute, we get the money yanked from our account immediately, and then we have to fight to get it back. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, that's not the way it's supposed to be. Uh -huh. Given our merchant processor, I'm not surprised. But <laughs> what other questions do we have? I'll go another couple minutes and we'll wrap it up. Liz, want to let folks know the chamber went with uh, Stephen a year ago, just a year ago when we were really looking forward to using the merchant services for networking and for events and everything else. And although we haven't been able to use it for all those things, we were able to get online donations for the Village Flower Basket program. It's gone great. We are very pleased with the service. And frankly, uh, Stephen wound up walking through a couple hours with us to make sure everything was set up correctly. So really, really appreciated the special attention. Thank you. Uh, and to Liz's statement, actually, at the end of February, seven of those cham uh, 10 chambers are my clients. Any other questions? Otherwise, we'll wrap it up. Jamie? I'll ask, I'll ask a question. Yeah. Um, what sort of, uh, what's your, your standard sort of vendorship fee for processing credit cards, if we had a, a, a card swiper in store, what sort of fee is that per transaction? Or does that vary based on the solution? It is based off the solution, but I have solutions that compare against Square. Rates just a tiny bit less, but it's you actually get me as a live person and James, and James handles my installation, IT, et cetera. Um, but at some point, there's always a break even point up against Square 
And depending on the average ticket, you know, if you're a coffee shop, you're worried about those per item charges. If you're a transmission shop or a roofer, you're worried about that basis point. So really it is a kind of a customizable program. I don't have an agreement, no contract. I earn your business every single month. I've had clients have been with me since 2008. That is an awesome track record, Stephen. Do we have any other questions for Stephen? Okay. I'm going to put my information in the chat box. I would love to have coffee with you guys. Thank you. Absolutely. Stephen, I would just like to highlight uh, a couple of things because as, again, uh, many of us are small business owners, uh, I'm sure both Dan and Dan and I would agree. We get calls with uh, someone promising us the lowest rate. I don't know. I get, I get a couple a week with, with somebody trying to grab my transactional business. Uh, and like Dan, we're in a, we're in a captive uh, franchise sort of agreement with our software provider. But um, <clears throat> it's you really are distinguishing yourself as being like us, a, a small business, a real person in the field, providing your service. And uh, having been around as long as you have, I think that's fantastic. Um, the other thing that I'd like to say is you separate yourself in all the things that you do. I always see you being of service to other people. I always see you highlighting your clients and bringing attention to your client's business. Even the promotional video you had us watch today, uh, I'm now curious about um, <clears throat> EDA and his eyewear. Yep. Because you took time out of your promotional video to really get me interested in your client. And I'd just like to point out to everybody how, how that really differentiates you. And um, I've seen that, Stephen, in everything that you do. You really put your clients first. And I've seen you promote them as a way of becoming important yourself. And I think that service first model is uh, just a fantastic way to be. So, so thank you for what you do in our community. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Ab absolutely. Um, <clears throat> before we get to our guests and split into our small groups, and man, it's been so long since I've seen Ernie. He also seems like a guest. This is like uh, old old people, our, our old pal, old crew coming back. Uh, I'm gonna let Liz uh, give us a heads up on, on our announcements today. I don't have a lot of announcements because the chamber just got their power back on Wednesday. So we are retooling and putting our committees back together and a uh, newsletter will come back more regularly next week. And uh, I think that's all I have for the chamber announcements right now. Thank you, Christopher. Absolutely, Liz. The fact that we're still alive and putting one foot in front of the other through the power outage is great. Uh, again, a big thank you to Liz for keeping us together, given that she just got power back. So um, just amazing to see all of you. Before we break into our small groups, it's now time to talk to our guest today. So James, who just went off my screen, I was about to ask him to go ahead and introduce himself. Sorry, my camera turned off for some reason. Hi, I'm James Beers from SQ Merchant Services. Um, I do the uh, installation and trainings for all of the devices that are received by our clients. Um, I also do web security and cyber security. So if you guys have a website, don't wait until it breaks or is hacked. Let us know now and we can help you defend it. Fantastic. Thank you so much, James. So if Steve gets a client in New York, you're flying out there and doing an install? Uh, I can actually do installs remotely. There you go. Nice. Very good. Now, I know James is our only true guest here today, but it has been so long since I've seen these two faces. I would just like to ask that Tina Colson to go ahead and introduce herself and let us know what's up as a group. <clears throat> good morning. So, so good to see you guys and be back with the chamber. It's, it's old school, I love it. Um, so, and new school, right? with your wonderful leadership. And so I, in the last year, a little over a year now, I switched from nonprofit work from Providence over to Equity Advantage and IRA Advantage. And so just quickly, for those of you who are not um, familiar with the 1031 treatment, it's basically an IRS ruling that allows real estate investors to defer their capital gain 
and depreciation recapture to a new property that they're looking to purchase for investment as well. So that is the IRA, um, or excuse me, equity advantage 1031 exchange. And then the self-directed IRAs, we just help people uh, diversify their portfolios and they can go into precious metals, notes, loans, buy real estate. And so that's what I am doing nowadays. Great to be back. Thank you, Christopher. Absolutely. Fantastic to see your face on the Friday morning networking. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> the other face we haven't seen in a while is a Mr. Is that Ernie Clayson? Cl 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 Would you please come off mute and tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Ernie Clayson. I'm with Costco Wholesale, although yesterday they did announce that uh, all of the local marketing offices are ceasing to exist. So even though I'm still with Costco, uh, Megan and I will no longer be uh, seeing you guys anymore. So I'm actually off today. Steven invited me to come on. So I'm actually here just to kind of be here to say hi, to support Steven. And I remind you that I'm also, I own a business, uh, my wedding business, EC Matrimony. So if you know anyone who's getting married, uh, I'm a wedding officiant. Uh, I do about 125 to 150 weddings a year. So uh, send them my way. Uh, otherwise, it's good to see you guys. Uh, hopefully, we'll, we'll see you around town, but not in a marketing capacity any longer. Thanks a lot. Absolutely.